Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Chris Williams, aka Dark Hemic, bringing you the second video in a series of installing Linux and using it without a whole bunch of command line stuff uh, for 3D and all kinds of digital art. When you're booting up your computer, you may have to hit F12 to make sure you're booting the USB. Generally, it's F12, and that went right past. That is not what I wanted to do. You see, I got all of that crap. I'm going to ignore all of it. I want to boot the USB drive. All right, now that we are on our desktop, If you want to connect to your internet access, it will use this to install updates as it's installing. We're going to click this icon here. Pick your language, pick your keyboard layout. You can test it. I am installing the media codex. I want my life to be easy. I want to be able to play movies and all of that kind of stuff without any problems. All right. Um, yes, I did have Pop! OS. This is like the fourth operating system that I've installed while trying to make this video. Hopefully uh, Linux Mint does it. I'm trying to look for the least amount of command line commands. Yeah, command. The least amount of times you have to go and actually open up a command line or a terminal the better off you are. You just want to get on and, and do your artwork. Uh, we are going to erase the disk and install Linux Mint. What's the advanced features? We're just going to hit OK and we'll install now. Uh, we'll go back. If you are installing on a laptop, I highly suggest you do this. You can encrypt your laptop drive so every time you restart your computer, the hard drive's encrypted. So you have to type in a password every time you reboot before it even boots into Linux Mint. This means if somebody walks off with your laptop, they can't even get the data. In theory. I mean, it's encryption, so they might be able to, but it's going to be a whole lot harder for them. I'm going to hit cancel, go to, I want none because I'm, this is a normal workstation at my house. Did it not? How about we go back? Okay. No, back. I am, this is where you pick your time zone. Yes, I am on a Inspiron 5676. That's a Ryzen CPU with a Radeon 580 graphics card and an extra PCI slot, PCIe slot, so that way I have a second graphics card installed, like I said, for Cycles X to go and help speed that up. Don't need that as my computer name. You can name this what you want. We'll go with Linux Mint, so when it's on my network, I know which computer it is. You can click that down and you'll see little stuff popping up about what it's actually doing, if you want to read it. Alright, now that the installation is done, um, you can continue testing or restart. See, normal start bar and stuff like that. Go restart. All right, and now with the installation out of the way, uh, when we come back, we'll be rebooting into the system and going through and installing things like Krita, Blender, Unreal Engine, a way for you to go and connect to um, Cisco AnyConnect VPNs because that's a big deal. You're working, and if you're working remotely, you're going to need to be able to go and get into other networks when you're doing remote source control with something like Preforce Helix. 
Um, that's what I use and my programmer uses. So we're going to go with that to go and show you how to go and set that up. All right, see you in the next video.